you're gonna be stupid, you better be tough. Tools. Batteries. Check. I don't know why I might need these, but I might. Check. Check. Bits. Check. Bring in that, because I don't know what sizes I need. Hi. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome back to this off-grid life. Uh, we are setting up our new old panels today. Uh, I milled some 4x3 cedar lumber to timber frame mill, timber frame them up onto. What? Anyway. You're building a frame. Building you a frame at some a... wood to build a frame. Thank you. For the panels. Coffee still hasn't come into <laughs> brain yet. Anyway. So yeah, you would have seen us. We don't have a way to get down to the lower part of our property, uh, except for our two feet. So we carried everything down by hand yesterday. Yeah. Greg did the heavy load. Well, it's all heavy. It was heavy yeah. moving the, yeah. the ginormous lumber down there too. Eight but panels and a bunch of lumber. So probably about five, six hundred, probably six, six hundred pounds worth of stuff we hauled down there. But it's all over now. It's all down there. Now we just got to put it together. super noisy down here so hopefully the this works out <laughs> um, we've mentioned before there's a mill across the lake from us this is the perfect spot for our solar panels uh, it is the noisiest part of our property but what are you gonna do yeah whatever get some get some power yeah get that's on yeah which is not out today yeah so yeah we've got our three 285 watt panels that we've been using for almost two years now. A few weeks ago, we found more panels on Facebook Marketplace for $200 a piece. They are used from solar farms in California and the guy brings them back into Canada and sells them. So they're a couple years old, but they're 225 watt panels. And so we've got eight down here and there's one extra one up top at home still because our current charge controller would be maxed out with these eight panels. But the nice thing about these eight panels, because they're an older solar panel, is I can send the absolute maximum that my charge controller can handle to them. And that's including the losses from our, our, uh, our line running up. So it's, it's kind of a perfect scenario because I don't have to buy a new charge controller. I'm just running it at its maximum capacity on a 24 volt system. Mm -hmm. So if I had a 48 volt system, I could do double, but I don't. Yeah. Go straight to 48. <laughs> yeah. So you thought you got it made for, he's a living slipping out the back door. you're made for and there's nothing that is too late for
okay, Katie, take me over. Packing solid. All right, we have got the frame up, we've got the panels up, Greg's just got to connect them. The battery is about to die on the camera, so we're going to wrap up this portion um, and we'll see you back up at the bus when we plug in the panels and, and see how much power we've got coming in. It's overcast, so we'll see. We'll see how it is. Okay, our lines are plugged in. Now, the first thing I want you to do is click the breaker that says 30. I got 18 amps, so this should be good. Okay, flicked it. We're all good? Yep, nothing happened. Okay. Turn on the charge controller. How? <laughs> oh, yeah, the other breaker. Oh, okay. <laughs> it says in 141.4. Volts? Yeah. That's good. Oh, it's going down. That's fine. It's tracking right now, so it takes a second. Yeah. How many amp? How many, uh, Watts are we pulling in? 0.15 kilowatts. What? Does that make sense? Yeah, it's 1,500 watts. Well, that is it for our solar array Build. upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> We're pulling in a little bit of power, even though it's overcast. I can't wait to see it when the sun is out mm -hmm. and see how much gains we get anyway yeah yeah we'll keep you updated uh thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time so yesterday we made a solar video and i had eight panels hooked up and eight panels at 220 sorry 255 watts and what ended up happening is i ran them in ser in the strings of four because i should have just barely been able to run them because of the open circuit voltage but the voltage was too high so now i have to run six of the eight which is still a whole lot better than what i was running before i think um the sun is just starting to pop out outside a little bit it's still um, shrouded by clouds but i'm hoping that when i go take a look at the power that we're pulling something good in instead of something less than our, our previous panels 500 watts what have we had here 780 watts okay it's not bad our voltage as you can see right there is not nearly as high as I'd like it to be because we have a long line between our panels and our bus I want it to be in as high as this charge controller will allow you know, 777, we're in the 800. This is good, considering I have a little bit of sunshine. It's still shrouded in clouds, 